what's up everybody i am back I'm back back at it again so today i'm out here on falls lake i've uh, never never been out here driven over this lake a couple times i've, I've seen watched the uh, the mlf guys fish out here a couple times uh, I, I qualified for our, our kayak tournament our kayak tournaments championship out here unfortunately i'm not going to be able to fish it this weekend i've got to work but kind of show some solidarity i'm gonna come out here and fish it anyway see what i can do out here so uh so I'm gonna keep this one rather rather brief. I don't really know where to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of start and hit a hit a handful of high percentage areas, kind of kind of see if I can if I can get some clues as where the fish where the fish are going to be. I think I've got an idea. I kind of know where the fish should be setting up this late late fall early winter time stuff. But I'm gonna start with some high percentage stuff. You know, rip wrap always a fantastic place to start. And we'll check some of these steeper banks that I see around. I see there's a good there's a really good cliff face with some chunk rock and stuff like that over there i'm gonna check that out probably later in the day but uh i'll we'll poke around here uh, like i said i'm gonna keep this brief so uh let's get it guys <laughs> a lot of stuff down there i don't want to spend too much time fishing any one thing in particular i mean i got especially not a bridge get back in there there he is all right I do have some activity what have we got what have we got what have we got oh all right there is life there is life in this lake <laughs> all right come here come here all right this is dark. All right, like like I said, start fishing the bridge, kind of high high percentage place. Put one in the boat. First first fish out of falls. There. retriever right there will save the day <laughs> that will save your day more times than you can ever possibly imagine so highly highly recommend <laughs> highly recommend seems like seven bucks oh gosh seven bucks and I threw it on just an old broken bait caster that I've got and it has saved countless paid for itself 50 times over i mean i at least probably 50 times over all right y'all so another thing i'm gonna check out as far as the high percentage areas go are your transition banks so right up here see how i've got chunk rock and then pebbles and then sand so it's probably chunk rock off of that point it's a little so just a little bit different bottom for those fish to sit on plus it's a little bit steeper it's a little bit steeper than this right here so it's it's a little bit easier for those fish to come up shallow if they want or they can go back out deep if they if it gets too cold they can slide back out deep if we get a warm day they can slide right up they can slide right up instead of having to swim a hundred yards to find a find a shallow spot so i'm gonna crank through this right quick couple couple casts it's also where the main river channel main river channel kind of swings up against this bank right here that's why it's that's why it's a little bit less sand let's see what we can find it's been kind of slow out here i don't really i don't really you know not not a lake i'm familiar with so i'm gonna take some trial and error to find these fish There we 
go. Come here, buddy. Yep. Come here, buddy. So, decent fish, obviously, right here. Those, those fish that are way back in this pocket are probably pulling out, kind of getting ready to suspend out here in, the, in this closer to the main river channel. This is one of the last deeper spots, one of the last deeper spots for them to get to. So they're just using this, uh, using this as a staging area, I'm guessing. bank though Meow. Oh. come here my friend all right so not not giants but uh not giants but I think we're pretty pretty safe to say this last deep water stretch right outside of the a big pocket or something is probably not too bad of a place to check to see if I can find a couple more Closer I get to the main lake, the closer I get to the main lake, there's a pole right there. There's a pole. Oh boy. I always fish the pole. I think it's. That is a black bass. <laughs> Why are you so dark? Look at that. He's black. <laughs> that is the darkest bass I've ever caught. I think it was just sinking there and I just saw it stop. You are dark. You've been hanging out up under that thing for a while. 16 inch. Mm. Overall, it's been an okay, okay day for uh, my first time being out here on the lake. I, I, I give it like a B minus. <laughs> I've, I've caught a couple fish. I think I figured out a couple things. So hopefully, I can, I can kind of build on that in the future. I, again, I'm not probably not going to be able to. Probably not. I'm not going to be able to fish the tournament this weekend. Just wanted to come out here and check it out and see what all see what all is going on. I know the first tournament, our first tournament next spring is going to be out here so just kind of getting the getting the eyes on this place seeing what all it looks like uh, um, obviously probably in the springtime it's going to be a little bit higher it's you know it looks like two three feet low right now everything's kind of sticking out of the water i'm going to catch fish off that tree right up there so i mean it seems like the fish are, are at least where, where i'm catching my fish is going to be points sharper sharper dropping points that uh that have some some kind of structure stuff like that on them so Caught, caught a couple fish the the first few fish that i caught were either on rocks around the rocks around the bridge or rocks right there where the creek channel hits a, hits a really sharp dropping bank so i've got you know sharp dropping bank up in front of me i've got some rocks on a creek channel right over there and then i've got this tree that tree right over there that i'm probably gonna fish here in just a second so o overall okay okay day caught, haven't caught any haven't caught any giants but it's a learn, learn it's all a learning curve so I'm gonna stay with me. I'm gonna see if I can catch one or two more fish before I have to throw it, throw it on the truck, and head back to the house.
There he is. Oh, no, he's still on. It's a wiper. No, it's a white bat. It's a uh, hybrid. <laughs> so you. Oh man, look at him go. Look at all of them. I won't jump. Mm. I haven't caught hybrids in a long time. Got it too, man. Got it, got it. Like, mm. there we go. gonna have to look <laughs> they're still going up there probably, probably gonna have to uh, shut this off and uh, head head back towards the house here before it gets too too dark and i'm driving out in the middle of the middle of the night i do kind of want to stop uh stop on the way home bass bass pro bass pro anchor bells are both on the way home so i want to stop at those but uh overall good good day caught a lot of fish so this this is probably this is so much fun right here i wish i'd come here earlier but they probably wouldn't have been blowing up like this earlier today whenever the sun was beating on this they're probably suspending off off that way now that the now it's getting dark and the shatter pushed up there they're just they're just having a, they're just having a free-for-all up there going after them all so they're not giants still fun but uh i think i'm gonna head head out and catch maybe catch one or two more and then probably head head out but appreciate y'all watching guys see y'all next time